South African countries. Mm. After satisfying after satisfying look, yeah. look at demand. Look All right demand. then. All right, gentlemen, let's move straight to our next conversation, where the impact of decisions or policies lies in effective and timely implementation. As such, President Bola Tinubu has ordered the redeployed and sacked ministers to hand over to their successors on or before the 30th of October. President Tinubu noted that in ministries where there are no ministers to hand over to, the outgoing ministers should hand over to the permanent secretaries in a statement by the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, uh, George Akume, the President said, the merging of the Ministry of Tourism with that of Arts, Culture and Creative Economy, as well as the Sports Development, should be coordinated by the SGF and the Head of Civil Service of the Federation. All right, Tony, I'll start with you on this um, one. The President ordering for SWIFT. Mm -hmm. handover of uh, the, the ministers to uh, is the president sending a strong signal that it is no longer business as usual mm -hmm. you know first and foremost I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it this way okay in time past I don't know I tend to be corrected uh, it, um, you dissolve the cabinet or um, or there's a change sure. or, or a reshuffle yeah, kind of reshuffle you know you hand over the next day you hand over to your permanent secretary you know mm -hmm. senior civil servant they proceed well, I think this is, I'm saying something different. Okay. You saying you have time, you have this between this time and this to, to hand over, yeah, between now and 30. How many which days? Maybe six, Yeah, even if it's two days, which means okay. they are still in office. Okay. Bring the handover notes, you know, put, you know, crossing Dots, the T's and uh, dotting the I's, you know, okay. which makes it easy for the next, for the incoming minister okay. to, you know, to understand because... In time past, you come, you're going out, you, 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 you just, you don't, no time, you don't, no time to even prepare handover. You just hand over what you think you can scribble to your peers and you move on. And most times it, it becomes, it, com it becomes very difficult for the permanent secretary, I mean, for the incoming or your successor to take over from you because it, you won't understand actually yes. when you stopped mm. your, your program and, you know, and the direction you make. But if you put all these things down, the transition, process. yes, and you're going to sit together and say, Please, this is why I stop. And you're going to interact. Mm. It, for me, to accelerate the process, okay. you know, and then it makes it easy for the new minister to take off, you know, take off hitting the ground running without waste of time. It makes the job easy, mm. unlike time pass when his minister is um, when um, the cabinet is dissolved and the ministers are gone, then the permanent secretary will just hand over to the incoming. And they say lacuna within, mm. the, within the short period. But an administration who understand what speed means, what Nigerians want at this moment, okay. and then you have a limited time, wants some, you know, something different, and this is how it should be. Because most organizations, that's what, if you hire um, an employee and he's mm. going, definitely you need to prepare a handover note True. comprehensively mm. for your society. I mean, you must understand what you're exactly. writing before you disappear. So when it comes, you look at it, and okay, it's easy to you know, connect to it mm. and move on. Apart from that, with this uh, to your thirty years, you're going to see, you're sitting down with your, you know. So for me, first and foremost, that you know, in, 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 that difference for me is an innovation, okay. something different entirely from the past. Mm -hmm. So a new minister comes in now, it's going to be very easy, knowing fully well that there's a job on ground that must be done. That must be Nigerians done. are in need of positive changes. Sure. Things must be done correctly. So that's I give it to the present administration because a new it's a new thing entirely. Mm. Um, I commend him, I commend the, the president for, because for over, over the time we've been, you know, there's been speculation, about, there's going to be a yeah. cabinet reshuffled here and there, and then he came yesterday and eventually, here we are, we've done it. And we have new set of ministers, and we have shifts, mm. you know, some have moved to other ministries, and, you know, um, it's a welcome development. Okay. Um, and um, I hope we continue to do it. This is the first time. You know, in the past, the president's administration for eight years, majority of the ministers were not moved. So talk about the Buhari have, administration. Yeah, yes, of course. You have a minister sitting redund redundantly for eight solid years without doing anything. Without doing anything. Yeah. So I come again. I commend the present administration for taking this step. So you, as a minister, don't think you can sit in that office and do nothing. You're not going to be watched. 
So right now they are being assessed. There's a case. So even if it's six, yeah, even if it's six months, you can go and say, Wait, that way. Okay, not totally. Not totally. totally, 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 totally you can be told. You know, you, you, you know yesterday, the, uh, earlier yesterday, they said they might some ministry. Later in the day, the man said they appointed some minister. So we are moving gradually towards it because we know that a lot of decisions have to be taken when it concerns managing ministry mm. and so on. And I think that, like uh, Tony said, you see, uh, era of business associates, people who are business-minded, when they run Nigeria, when they run an organization, is different from when Politicians. military mm -hmm. or people who are basically politicians mm -hmm. or civil servants run an organization. They want to run Nigeria for business. And I've been telling people that Nigeria is just beginning to start the running. You are going to spend four years. Mm -hmm. Your continuity in office is subject yeah. to, is determined by your performance, performance, which is being rated by the government. And the public too are watching. Another thing is that it makes for continuity, like Tony said. When people take over, you know that the day you take over, you should be preparing your handover mm -hmm. note. Mm. The day you take over government, you are sworn as a minister, you should start preparing well, yeah. your handover note. Um, even if it is not known to anybody, exactly. that you can be removed so. anytime. And it shouldn't be difficult for the next person to dot their eyes and tea. What we should be enough if you have a system of doing your things, if okay. you have a table. Thank God they have a program which they are implementing. So it's very easy for any minister. It shouldn't take any minister to mm -hmm. his If you know, work, yeah, exactly. you know what yeah. you are doing, let them hand over. Mm -hmm. So that the person you are handing over to also knows that he must hand over to the next, the next person. person. He, must be, he must be put on seat. So the, the president, by doing that, he has put all the ministers on edge. That you have, to, you have perform. to perform. You have to perform. Hmm. The Ministry of Niger Delta, you know, that's been scrapped and turned to Ministry of uh, Regional Development. Mm -hmm. Is this a cut, 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 um, cut, cut measure? As in cut, cut cut, measure. cutting yeah. measure? Yeah. Mm. Yes, it, of course. And, uh, yeah, yes, of course. If you look at it now, you have, minister, um, you have Niger Delta Development Commission, which mm -hmm. has been, you know, mm -hmm. For, doing nothing, practically you know, nothing. Doing nothing. Probably three. So now, but, you know, since the President's administration came, we had... We're having um, Northeast Development uh, Commission. Mm -hmm. We have North um, Southeast Development Commission. Okay. Southwest, you know. So Southwest. why not box all of them together? Why would you leave the Minister mm -hmm. of Niger Delta? So now a ministry is, is overseeing this um, for um, regional commission. It makes sense, and I think I understand where the president is going. But let me just, you know, <laughs> keep it, you know. So that that's how it should be. Um, NDDC, most of these, uh, Niger, you know what, Niger, why are you talking about? I'm from that side, you know, and they've been there. People had high expectation. You don't think it has achieved? No, 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 it never achieved. It's still in they it's award it's contracts it's without doing anything. To politicians, and at the end of the day, nothing happens. They sell contracts. The so it's not, it, 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 for me, before, the, before what happened yesterday, mm. that one alone made me the happiest person. I looked at it and I said, for the, I looked at the entire um, movement of, you know, um, um, new ministers, movement and all that. But that's Niger Delta, scrapping up Niger Delta, uh, means of Niger Delta. You need to go to Niger Delta and see what's going on. And, I mean, a lot of some people are talking from this. about it. Yeah, I think Syed when Clark actually mm -hmm. gave a statement concerning that. But I, I don't know. But the point here is, let's also look at another one. Now, yesterday, your gentlemen, you were not here, but I just want to also mm -hmm. have your thoughts about the cabinet shake-up. Mm -hmm. uh, how how far-reaching is it? Do you expect more names? Well, okay, the uh, shake-up, right? Yeah, the shake cabinet shake-up. Well, well uh, so far, the president has more names, uh, or? 30 more months to go. And that by doing this one 18 months after he has taken over power, it means that he wants to rejuvenate it means that he's acting on a report which not all Nigerians yeah, well. have seen. Because all the ministers, like I said, they were being assessed. There's an assessment sheet that you sign the day you are sworn in. It means he's reacting directly to the report that he presented has presented by presented to him mm. by those people who are assessing the minister. We have never had it in Nigeria. People may not like what I'm saying, that ministers know that they are being assessed. Everybody in the last eight years, before last year, everybody just hold the ministry and they became a lord unto themselves. <laughs> they are not reporting to the president. Like a, former, a former, former minister said in Nigeria that the former president was the kind of person who would give people assignment and he would not check 
whether you are doing the assignment. Yeah, it's, it's, at, it's inconsequential. At, at, it's, 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 so let us let us make sure that we are assessing those people who are in position mm -hmm. of power, mm -hmm. so that they know that one day and somebody is watching. Give account. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, Sorry, all, right all right, gentlemen. We have we have uh, Yakub. Yakub has okay. joined us again. Yakub. Let's talk. Yeah, 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 thank you very much. I, I think, uh, he, uh, let me just go straight to the point. Uh, you see, I give, I give kudos to President uh, Bola Hamed Tinobu with this movement. And then uh, I think Nigerian citizens, we are waiting to see more of this. Because if, as a minister, I think for me, this month is okay for us to know what you are doing. Look at, example is a, a, a minister of aviation. Example is also minister of F FCT. But I can tell you for free, sir. I, some of us, I probably seen a minister of power. I'm talking about a minister of power. The man that coming coming from Ibadan, that minister from Ibadan. I, I I I was expecting that this is not totally removed. I was expecting to move him from that. Ministry to another place. Let me give you a, a typical example. The All right, thank you very much. Thank you so much, Yakub. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. But, okay, yeah, me, okay. Because I actually, you know, I have to win on it. Um, you, you know, on, on, on the Minister of Power, a lot of course, a lot of people I have written against him. No, but what I wanted to ask you, what I wanted yeah, no, to ask, about yeah, I wanted okay. to ask the I'll cabinet, come back to how far reaching is it? And also, <laughs> shuffle, right? were you expecting more names? And if you're expecting more names, who were you expecting to make a discharge? I was actually expecting more names, for real. But I want to believe the president knows what he's doing. You okay. do you have names? No, nah, because this will, this, will, this will man pressure on the rest. Okay. Because he's not supposed to give them notice. It's it can be removed anytime. It's, okay. it's at the behest of the president, you know. Um, the, I, of course, there are some silent ministers in the, in, 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 at the Federal Executive Council. Like, you, you, you don't see them. You don't see them. They, don't, they are just there. Apart from not seeing them, they are not doing anything. They are not visible in any way. I can mention some. <laughs> we, we, we have Minister of Greek, right? Yes. Do you know the Minister of Greek? Don't. Thank God and the president um, was able to catch up with the Minister of uh, Tourism. Tourism, yes. We have, we have a lot of them. I can't start really. We have 49 ministers. Are you sure? If I ask me, how many of them do you know? Can you memorize and say, okay, there are no more than five. I know the ones that are performing. Let's say less than 2% of them are performing. So for Mr. President to take, take all of them out, I know he has plans. But so for him to say, I am sure of that, and it will happen. It will happen within the next one year. Well, the caller called talked about the minister. The, uh -huh, of power. I was going to minister of power. Yeah, you know what Nigeria when, during um, um, the last administration led by General um, retired General Mohamed Buhari. Here, I said it many times that what Nigeria needs is electricity. Once we can get electric, the economy will run. Once we can get our power right, you know, power distribution and all that right. The economy of Nigeria, we... we oh, but really, is it about no, the person no, occupying... No, hold on. Uh, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Or the entire no, hold on. sector. Uh, hold on. The person occupying the chair yes. matters a lot because it drives it. So first and foremost, you must understand it, just as we're talking about handover. If you sit on a chair and you don't understand anything, but we've had going to be enough. So we've had different know, so, professionals no, wait, wait, handing wait, wait, that wait, wait, position somebody has, yet. No, somebody has to drive it. You know, it's like, first, you, know, you, must have that, you must have that expertise okay. to do it. So um, that, the problem of Nigeria, you also can get our electricity right. Because it's affecting, we are, you know, apart from you sitting down here, I know you may, you, you may be doing one, one or two businesses because... In Nigeria, today, yeah, in Nigeria, you, you must be doing, yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, to get so, back. and it, for you to be successful in what you're doing, mm. you need electricity. True. So, when it came, when uh, the present uh, minister of power came, he was he wasn't getting it right. But I think he's getting it right now. What the what the, pro the problem? It? Yeah, the problem Nigerians are talking about, right. you know, is is the rate. But okay. I think uh, we, we eventually we we'll start. <laughs> okay. Anyway, That's we need why to, they want him out. All right, thank you very much, gentlemen. We need to go on this quick break, and uh, when we return. The conversation continues. It's still journalist hangout.